Do you keep molly fish in your aquariums? Congratulations, you have some beautiful pets. But did you know that molly fish can be kept with many other great freshwater fish? Choosing the perfect tank mates always requires excellent research and care, so this video will help you make your decision much easier. So if you are ready to add some tank mates to your molly fish aquarium, this video is for you because we will cover 15 of the best molly fish tank mates that can bring life to your aquarium. Before going to the list of tank mates, let's first discuss some facts you should know before introducing them. Choosing the best tank mates for molly fish is about understanding their needs and the other species you want to add to their tank. We'll cover some fantastic fish species later in this video, but let's start by going over the thought process for choosing great tank mates. Temperament Some fish are more aggressive than others, so it's important to choose fish with similar levels of aggression. Molly fish are peaceful but not shy. They can hold their own with somewhat boisterous fish, but should not be kept with aggressive fish or larger predatory species. Mollies are life bearers. They will eat their young ones, so it is best to set up a breeding tank if you plan to breed molly fish. Mollies are generally peaceful, but they will often eat shrimp. You should try to keep them together in a heavily planted tank with loads of hiding spaces. Size there is a general rule in the fish keeping hobby. If a fish can fit in another fish's mouth, they are not safe tank mates. Mollies grow from 4 to 6 inches long and can eat tiny, slow moving fish. Likewise, large fish can easily snack on your mollies. Choose similar sized fish, although fast cooling fish like neon tetras are generally safe. These are some facts that you should know before introducing any fish to your molly fish tank. And to know more, you can also visit our official blog, where we listed 4 such facts that you must know about molly fish and their tank mates. Now before we get started, here's where I ask for a hand on smashing that like button. Smashing the like button lets the YouTube algos know that this video deserves an algorithmic high five while at the same time encourages me to make more videos just like this one. Are you ready to learn about molly tank mates? If yes, then let's start our list of the best molly tank mates. So in the first position, let's talk about Dwarf Goramis, one of the best tank mates for molly fish. The Dwarf Gourami is a peaceful community fish with an exciting look. A pair of these colorful labyrinth fish would make a great addition to your molly fish community tank. Dwarf Goramis are relatives of the betta fish. They come in unique colors, including neon reds, blues, and oranges. They are pretty shy and will do their best in a planted aquarium. Mollies require plenty of light and tropical settings, which is also the case for Dwarf Goramis. After Dwarf Goramis, let's learn about our next molly fish tank mate, which are Guppy Fish. Guppies are ideal tank mates for your molly fish. Guppy Fish is a smaller, more colorful cousin of the molly fish. They are straightforward to care for and will add loads of life to your tropical fish tank. Guppy Fish are life bearers just like mollies. They will regularly breed in your aquarium, although the fry is not likely to survive the hungry mouths of their larger tank mates. Guppies and mollies will consume the same kind of food, which is excellent news regarding feeding. They should eat primarily vegetables, although they'll take just about everything you offer them. After guppies, now let's talk about our next fish on this list, which is the platyfish. Platyfish are another small life bearer that are peaceful tank mates for mollies. There are many different platy breeds, often with bold shades of yellow, orange, and black. These undemanding fish are an excellent choice for a mixed live bearer tank. Platys are social and appreciate being housed in groups. They also demand a little larger tank because they are active fish. They work well with much other fish, including guppies, and are a fantastic choice for molly fish. After the platy fish now, let's move to our next fish, which is the neon tetra one of the famous fish in the aquarium hobby. Neon tetras add a burst of bright color and activity to any tropical freshwater aquarium. These small schooling fish are peaceful and very easy to care for. Neon tetras prefer a lower pH than mollies, so they are not recommended for tanks with a pH over 7. These tiny tetras are strictly schooling fish, so make sure you pick up a group of at least 6 to 10. Now after neon tetra, Let's talk about our next fish, which is the Cardinal Tetra. 
the Cardinal Tetra is another brightly colored tetra species from South America. They are a slightly larger and even more colorful relative of the Neon Tetra. These peaceful fish are a little more challenging to care for and have a higher price tag. Cardinal Tetras reward the fish keeper with unique colors and a peaceful attitude. They make an excellent tank mate for molly fish. Now let's look at our next fish on this list which is the Endler's Live Bearers. Endler's Live Bearers fish are similar to guppies but do not grow as large and have different markings and fins. Endler's Live Bearer fish are very confident, even though they are very small. These peaceful nano fish make some of the best tank mates for mollies. This species males feature a unique coloration with black, red, and iridescent blue-green scales. They are similar in size and sociability to mollies, making them ideal tank mates. After Endler's Live Bearers, now let's learn about our next fish on this list which is the Autosynclus Catfish. Autos are nano catfish that do a very important job in the aquarium. They are super peaceful and one of the only fish that will not eat your molly fry. These tiny fish eat algae on your aquarium's glass and other surfaces to keep the tank looking neat and clean. Autosynclus catfish get along with other fish pretty well. Due to the wide variety of options available, housemates for autos can include tetras, baroras, dwarf goramis, rasparas, barbs, mollies, other catfish, and even other algae-eating creatures like shrimp and snails. After Autosynclus catfish, now let's talk about our next fish on this list which is the Zebra Danio. Zebra Danios are very fast and hardy tropical freshwater fish. These active community fish are great for adding heaps of movement to any community tank. Zebra Danios are peaceful fish that will thrive on the same food and care as their live-bearing tank mates. The peaceful nature of mollies makes them excellent tank mates for Zebra Danios. There are plenty of molly varieties to choose from and they average 4.5 inches in size. Keep at least 4 mollies together as they like their own company. In terms of food, they're not demanding, although they strongly prefer vegetable matter and invertebrates. After Zebra Danio, let's now talk about our next fish on this list which is the Siamese Algae Eater. The Siamese Algae Eater is another excellent molly fish tank mate. Choose this peaceful fish species for keeping your tank clean and adding activity. Fish keepers also appreciate their ability to devour blackbeard algae, something that very few aquarium fish will eat. Siamese algae eaters are very fast, active fish that will also enjoy prepared fish food like flakes and pellets. They grow up to 6 inches and should be kept in school of at least 4, so keep them in a tank of 30 gallons or more. After Siamese algae eater, now let's learn about one of the most popular fish in the aquarium hobby, which is quarry catfish. The Corydoras catfish is an excellent addition to any peaceful community tank. These small bottom dwellers are peaceful and will not bother your molly fish. Cory cats are very social fish, so you'll need a school of at least 6 of the same species to see them acting at their confident best. Cory catfish come in tons of different species, ranging from the tiny midwater schoolers like the dwarf cory to the regular sized species like bronze, sturbas, and panda corys. After Corridor's catfish, now let's talk about our next fish on this list, which is White Cloud Mountain Minnow. White Cloud Mountain Minnows are excellent community fish for cooler water conditions. These graceful schooling fish hang out in the water column's middle to upper layers. White clouds are easy to care for and come in a cool long fin variety and a gold color more. They will not make good tank mates with tropical fish, but they will be happy at 68 to 72 degrees which is the lower limit for your molly fish. After minnows, now let's learn about one of the most popular fish in the aquarium hobby, Harlequin Rasparas. Harlequin Rasparas are hardy schooling fish that make a great addition to a molly fish community tank. These colorful fish have a rich orange body color with a bold black triangular marking on each side. They enjoy similar water parameters to molly fish but will do best towards the lower end of the pH and water temperature range. At a school of 8 or more to enjoy their beautiful schooling behavior. Now let's move to our next fish on this list which is the Bristle Nose Pleco, a popular fish in the aquarium hobby. Are you looking for a unique bottom dweller to add to your molly fish tank? Look no further than the weird and wonderful Bristle Nose Pleco. These small armored catfish spend their time hanging out at the bottom of the tank. 
They graze on algae and drift food and won't bother your mollies, although you should keep one pleco in the tank to avoid fighting. Make sure you pick up a bristlenose pleco rather than a larger species. Let's move to our next fish on this list which is swordtails, one of the most attractive fish you can buy. The swordtail is yet another excellent life bearer for freshwater tanks. They are incredibly peaceful and come in an exciting array of different colors and breeds. Swordtails are a little smaller than mollies, and the males have a long, distinctive tail where they get their name. These hardy fish are easy to care for and won't interbreed with their mollies. Swordtails also enjoy very similar water parameters, so you won't need to worry about the two being comfortable in the same tank. After the swordtails now, let's move to our next and last fish, which are tiger barbs. Tiger barbs have a reputation for being a little mean towards other fish, but fortunately, mollies are tough and hardy so they can handle themselves just fine. However, make sure to keep your tiger barbs in a school of at least 6, preferably more, or to prevent any aggression. Tiger barbs and molly fish are compatible, but their compatibility isn't 100%. Tiger barbs thrive in planted tanks with driftwood and hiding spots, primarily when the pecking order in their shoal is being formed since weaker shoal members may be tormented. All the fish mentioned in this video can be a good tank made for your molly fish tank to keep them happy. One common question is how many mollies should be kept together in a tank? And the simple answer is that mollies are schooling fish and do not like to be kept alone. Keeping at least 3-4 to four mollies in a tank is recommended. Molly fish are one of the most popular species in the aquarium hobby for a good reason. These fascinating and hardy pets get along great with many other fish species. Pick tank mates from this list for your community aquarium and enjoy everything these fish offer. If you like this video, please tell us about your favorite tank mates in the comment section below. And if you like this video and want to support us, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. If you have any queries or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will also find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching this video.